learns obedience by the things Baron Trump suffer in Jesus Christ's name. Hebrews 5.8 As an obedient child, Baron Trump will not conform himself to the former lusts in Jesus Christ's name. 1 Peter 1.14 May Baron, may Baron Trump walk in your authority so that all the congregation of the children of God may be obedient in Jesus Christ's name. Numbers 27.20 I ask, Father God, that you will let Baron Trump not be like the nations the Lord destroyed before him. Baron Trump will be obedient to the voice of the Lord, his God, in Jesus Christ's name. Deuteronomy 8.20 The rebuke of the wise is like an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold to Baron Trump's obedient ear, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Proverbs 25.12 through you, Father God, Baron Trump have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. Father God, for your name, Father God. Romans 1, 5, in Jesus Christ's name. I ask, Father God, that you let Baron Trump put himself to the test whether Baron Trump is obedient in all things in Jesus Christ's name. Especially all things in you, Father God. 2 Corinthians 2 9. Father, I thank you in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump know that your affections are greater for Baron Trump as you remember Baron Trump's obedience. How with fear and trembling Baron Trump receive you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. 2 Corinthians 7 15. Lord, I pray that you will have confidence in. And Baron Trump's obedience, knowing that Baron Trump will do even more than you say, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Philemon 21. All that you, Lord, has said Baron Trump will do and be obedient in Jesus Christ's name, Exodus 24-7 in Jesus Christ's name. While well, I ask that you let Baron Trump not be like those who would not walk in your ways and weren't obedient to your law, for like them... Baron Trump will be plundered and given under and given over to robbers in Jesus Christ's name. Isaiah 42, 24 in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump present himself to obey you, Father God, Lord, O oh Lord. Therefore, Baron Trump is a slave. Of, therefore, Baron Trump is a slave of obedience leading to righteousness. I'm going to uh, say this one again. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump present himself to obey you, Heavenly Father, O Lord. Therefore, Baron Trump is a slave of obedience, leading to righteousness in Jesus Christ, saying Romans 6, 16. I thank you, Father God, that Baron, that Baron Trump's obedience has become known to all. Let Baron Trump be wise in what is good and simple concerning evil. In Jesus Christ's name, Romans 16, 19. Father, I thank you that Baron Trump cast down arguments and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of you, Father God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ Jesus in Jesus Christ's name. 2 Corinthians 10.5 Like Christ, Father God, like Christ Jesus, let Baron Trump humble himself and become obedient to the point of death. In Jesus Christ's name, Philippians 2.8. Jesus, I thank you that you made Baron Trump righteous through your obedience. In Jesus Christ's name, Romans 5.19. Lord, I thank you that Baron Trump will obey you so that Baron Trump may enter into your rest, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Hebrews 3.18. I mean, Hebrews 3.18. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will not obey unrighteousness. Baron Trump will obey the truth. Let your indignation and wrath be far from Baron Trump, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Romans 2, 8. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will not follow his former rituals, but Baron Trump will obey you, Lord, will obey the Lord, in Jesus Christ's name, 2 Kings, 2 Kings 17, 40. 
Father God, I ask that you let Baron Trump run well, that you let Baron Trump run well, Father God, and let no one hinder Baron Trump from obeying the truth. In Jesus Christ, in Galatians 5, 7. Because, Father God, Baron Trump, obey your voice, Father, all of Baron Trump's seed will be blessed. In Jesus Christ's name, Genesis twenty two eighteen. 18. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump received, that Baron Trump received blessing because Baron Trump obeyed the commandments of you, Lord, and his God. In Jesus Christ's name. Deuteronomy 11.27 Father, I ask that you let Baron Trump not turn his heart back to Egypt, but let Baron Trump obey. Obey you, Father God, and your commandments, of course, in Jesus Christ's name. Acts 7.39 Because Baron Trump obey, you, Father God, are the author of Baron Trump's eternal salvation. Baron Trump is perfected in you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Hebrews 5, 9. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump submit himself as a slave to obey you, Father God, O Lord, that Baron Trump may be righteous in Jesus Christ's name. Romans 6, 16. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will obey your voice according to what you command him. In Jesus Christ's name, Genesis 27, 8. Thank you, God, that as Baron Trump obey your voice, Father God, you will be an enemy to Baron Trump's enemies and an adversary to Baron Trump's adversaries. In Jesus Christ's name, Exodus 23, 22. I ask, Father God, that you let Baron Trump not be the one who does not obey you and receive seven times more punishment for his sins. In Jesus Christ's name, Leviticus 26, 18. All the blessings of the Lord come upon Baron Trump, Father God, and overtake Baron Trump. Because Baron Trump obeyed the voice of you, Lord, his God. In Jesus Christ's name, Deuteronomy 28, 2. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will spend his days in prosperity and his years in pleasures because Baron Trump obey and serve you, Father, in Jesus Christ's name, Job 36, 11. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will obey you and incline his ear to you, Father, and Baron Trump will not be stiff-necked, be stiff-necked, in Jesus Christ's name, Jeremiah seven twenty six. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will eat and have enough. Baron Trump will not commit harlotry and will increase because Baron Trump seek to obey you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, Hosea 4.10. I thank you, Lord, that you will not cast Baron Trump away because Baron Trump will obey you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Hosea 9.17. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will obey your voice and Baron Trump will receive correction and Baron Trump will trust in you, Lord, and draw near to you, Father God, to his God in Jesus Christ's name, which is you, Father. Zephaniah 3, 2. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will obey you, Father God, rather than men in Jesus Christ's name, Acts 5, 26, Acts 529 and father I will obey you father God rather than men too in Jesus Christ's name I want to claim that scripture over myself too so father God I thank you that Baron Trump will obey you father God rather than men in Jesus Christ's name Acts 529 I thank you father God that the Holy Spirit is given to those who obey him and I thank you, Father God, that the Holy Spirit is given to those who obey him. And Baron Trump will obey. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, Baron Trump will obey the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And he will obey you too, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Acts 5.32 I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will not let sin reign in his mortal body, nor will Baron Trump obey it in its lusts, obey it in its lusts in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will not let sin reign in his mortal body, 
nor will Baron Trump obey it in its lust. In Jesus Christ's name, Romans 6, 12. And I also want to pray this one over me too, Father God. I thank you that I will not let sin reign in my mortal body. Nor will I obey it in its lust. In Jesus Christ's name, Romans 6, 12. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will be subject to rulers and authorities to obey them and will be ready for every good work. In Jesus Christ's name, Titus 3, 1. Especially in the Lord, <laughs> Father God. To obey is better than uh, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed than the fat of rams. So I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will obey rather than to sacrifice, and then to heed than to than the fat of rams. Father God, thank you, Father God, for First Samuel fifteen twenty two in Jesus Christ's name. Whether it is pleasing or displeasing. Baron Trump will obey the voice of you, Lord, his God, that it may be well with Baron Trump. In Jesus Christ's name, Jeremiah 42, 6. I thank you, Lord, that if Baron Trump will obey your voice and keep your covenant, Baron Trump will be a special treasure to you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Exodus 19, 5. When Baron Trump is in distress, Father God, Baron Trump will turn to you, Lord, his God, and obey your voice. You, Father God, will not forsake Baron Trump or destroy Baron Trump, nor will you forget the covenant with, that you swore to his fathers, to Baron Trump's fathers in Jesus Christ's name. Deuteronomy 4, verses 30 through 31, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will earnestly obey your commandments to love you, Lord, his God, and serve you with all his heart and soul. In Jesus Christ's name, Deuteronomy eleven thirteen. And Father, I want to pray that one over me too. I thank you that, Father God, I will earnestly obey your commandments to love you, Lord, my God, and serve you with all my heart and soul. In Jesus Christ's name, Deuteronomy eleven thirteen. Father, I thank you that Baron Trump observed and obey all these words that you command him, that it may go well with Baron Trump and his children after Baron Trump forever. In Jesus Christ's name, Deuteronomy 12, 28. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will walk after the Lord, his God, and will fear you, Father God. And Baron Trump will keep your commandments, Father, and obey your voice, Father God. And Baron Trump will serve you and hold fast to you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Deuteronomy 13, 4. Heavenly Father, today, Baron Trump proclaim you, Lord, to be his God. That Baron Trump will walk in your ways and keep your statutes your commandments and your judgments and that Baron Trump will obey your voice, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Deuteronomy 26, 17. Today, Baron Trump proclaimed the Lord to be his God. That, Father God, Baron Trump will walk in your ways, Heavenly Father, and keep your statutes and your commandments and your judgments, Father. That Baron Trump will obey your voice, Father, in Jesus Christ's name, Deuteronomy 26, 17. I thank you, Lord, that you are Baron Trump's God and Baron Trump will serve. That you, Lord God, is the God that Baron Trump will serve, Father, and your voice will Baron Trump obey, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Joshua 24, 24. I thank you, Father God, that Baron Trump will not fear the gods of the Amorites, for you are the Lord, his God. You are the Lord, uh, Baron Trump's God, Father God, in whose land will Baron Trump dwell? In Jesus Christ's name, Judges 6, 10. I ask, Father God, that you let Baron Trump continue to fear, serve, and obey you, Lord, so that the political leaders who rule over who rule over Baron Trump will also follow you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, 1 Samuel 12, 14. 
I ask, Father God, that you let Baron Trump not be like King Saul, who transgressed against the commandment of the Lord and feared people more than God and, and obeyed their voice. In Jesus Christ's name, 1 Samuel 15, 24. Father, I ask, I'm going to say this and again, 